So here's the ultimate full frame video camera. And hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Hayal Kim. Um, I work in product marketing for Panasonic Europe. And uh, here you're showing the S1H, which is um, it's kind of a little cinema photography super camera, right? Yes, it's the latest addition to our S-series family. And um, so in the beginning of the year, we launched the S1 and the S1R. And now we are very proud to introduce the new S1H, which is a full frame mirrorless camera, which is tar targeted to um, cinematographers. So when engineers developed this camera, they had the um, let me flip out the screen, which is also new about this camera. So you can basically tilt and flip out the screen um, as you need. This has, um, of course, following benefits. One thing is that you have much more flexibility in how you want to uh, turn the display. And also it gives you the freedom um, when you hook up your cables nice. and that it will not be in the way anymore. And also the people that, some, a few people, I think, uh, also like to use it like this. Uh, where well you tilt it up and st uh, on the, on the axis of the camera. Yeah. So then you have that option too. Yeah. So uh, actually, we we basically um, got so much good feedback on the tiltable screens, and now it's tiltable and flippable. So um, yeah, we're very, it has the really best excited. Of both worlds. It does have the best of both worlds, actually. And here you can see the fan structure. So um, it has the uh, integrated uh, active cooling system. Because you do unlimited recording in full frame. Yes, you can do so unlimited there, right? recording. It has uh, um, different setups, auto setups, so um, it has different cooling systems. Yeah. It's, well, it doesn't have SD cards inside yeah. at the moment. So unlimited recording with a big display up here with all the settings that show up and ways to turn these uh, to different colors and stuff. Turn on the big record button. Yeah, we have two record buttons, one on top and uh, one in the front. That also, if it's like set up in a, in a rig, gives you the freedom to, you know, to hit the record button either in the front or on the top. And, and it's very bright that you can see immediately. I think it's, uh, it's great that it has dual SD. Dual SD card slots with UHS class 2. Um, sorry. Yeah, it's maybe a it's locked right now. Yeah, oh, so here you can yeah. see. So dual SD, which is the more standard thing people do when they do video. Exactly, and uh, also you can hot swap while uh, while you record. So um, even if the card gets full, you can just swap the cards out with uh, the new let's ones. Go, let's go in the menu um, with all the, the codecs. Uh, do you know what you find right here? Oh, it's, let's go. it's in German. Yeah, can problem. Maybe uh, in there. And there's, uh, there's many codecs supported in here, right? Yes. It's yeah. so many codecs which are supported. Let me see. Yeah, no problem. Maybe there. Yeah. So there you have, a, you can do 4K60, but the 4K60 in a Super 35 mode. You can do uh, 4K. Um, you, can, you can do 6 uh, 6K full frame sensor recording, 3 to three by 2 aspect ratio, um, full sensor readout. So there's panel. a 6K that's very usable to do for cropping in or for doing an anamorphic 6K? Even? You can do anamorphic 4K, um, it has 5D squeeze um, factors, so you can use also different anamorphic lenses. It also the stabilization, it has internal stabilization, so it supports dual IS2. Uh, with the according lens up to six to six point five stops on this so camera. It's very high quality stabilization for full frame. It's the best full frame it's stabilization. It's the best stabilization uh, which we have in the market at the moment and it even has it even adapts to different anamorphic um, recording modes. So it, it will adapt to depending on what kind of anamorphic recording mode you are. De squeeze in there. De, de squeeze. You can de squeeze in camera so you can also check the content on your screen um, if, if, if necessary. Uh, waveform monitor, we have tele light, so you can check if it's recording or not. Um, so I think it, it offers a lot of flexibility for the filmmaker nowadays. And I feel at the moment um, the full flexibility to, to for, for any cinematographer in the market. So we're really hoping that 
um, filmmakers will see this camera and um, yeah, get their hands on it and film the next project with our S1H. So the, there's more lenses coming out here on the, on the roadmap, but on, also yes. uh, Sigma is probably coming with a whole bunch of cool lenses very soon. Yes, they're um, just that launched. all compatible. Yes, they are all compatible. Then we have Leica, which is also a great partner in um, this alliance. Best in the world kind of company yes. for, for optics and everything. Yes, and then uh, also we've just launched the new 2470 f2.8 uh, S series uh, lens. This is the newest edition, uh, so it's also a perfect uh, match for this camera. So f2.8? f2.8. All the way? All the way, zoom. 2470, exactly. And it's uh, our Lumix S Pro lens. So you have this, uh, uh, you position it as the S1 is all round? Yes. High resolution and video. It basically reflects the three brother strategy that we have also with the G series. And this is something that we also continue uh, with the S series. It's a hybrid, it's a, a professional photographer and the professional cinematographer's camera. I think there's a chance that this if some of the filmmakers, the serious filmmakers, the people that might consider using um, uh, like a, a red camera or even... Ari. Ari, yeah. yeah. Uh, they could get into the business with just this camera, which is 4000. That would be great, of course. Um, I think we, it, it's, it's a very great uh, partner camera, so you can use it as a B camera. Of course, you can use it as an A camera. And uh, it's compatible also with the Vericam uh, LUTs. And, um, and so it's, it's, it's a great camera that you can add or use for film projects, of course. Yeah. And it's available? Uh, end of September, depending on the regions. But it should be available from end of September, uh, beginning of October.